today we are in Sevierville, Tennessee and we have come to the Apple Barn. I assume it's going to be everything apples. Of course Andrew's here. Let's go check it out. This is the Applewood Farmhouse Grill. We're going to go in and get some breakfast and check it out. We have a fire going out front. It's quite cool this morning, so feels Here are the menus they've got outside. Let's go in and check it out. In the front entryway, they've got some artifacts here, some arrowheads, some beads, Coins, old knife. Very cool. Got our table here. Here's the menu. Pancakes and eggs. Biscuits and gravy. Looks good. When you come here to eat, they give you a complimentary serving of apple fritters and apple butter and apple jewel. Andrew's gonna try the he's gonna try the apple julep here. A lot of pineapple. Try it. I like it, it's good. I've got mine apple julep here and they brought me my coffee I'm gonna try one of these apple fritters and apple butter just dip it in there bite mm. very good My food just arrived. I ordered the coffee and I got the biscuits and gravy with sausage. It's a southern treat here. Andrew got food omelet, a biscuit, some home fries. What do you think of the fritter? It's good. Very good. They are good. Cinnamon roll and apple flavor. It's good. And a donut mixed together. Yeah. Very good. So I like to I like to break my biscuits up on my plate and then cover them with gravy like this. Mm. Very good. Andrew's going in on the omelet. Give it a taste there. Very good. Looks like it's got cheese and meat. 
green onions on top. Well, I ate it all, and it was delicious. I finished my julep. I'm gonna finish sipping my coffee, and we'll go explore. Got some birds here. Inside. Here's one. Flew over there. This one's on a swing. Swinging away. May have more birds back here. Brochures here. Parrot Mountain. Neat. The next building adjacent to the restaurant is the Christmas shop. Outside they've got a big snowman. Christmas has passed, but let's go in and check it out. Hello. Hello. Lots of decor. ornaments over here got some collegiate holiday ornaments here got the Tennessee Vols they're the best and they also have Kentucky in the back around the trees here over the fireplace they have Santa Big gift. They have jewelry here. They have some books and toys in here also. That's an important part of Christmas. These are cool. These are play rugs that have maps on them for trains or cars and different vehicles. Here's one that's a train. Rescue. Regular road rug. Here's even a dinosaur rug. Very cool. We've got some miniature light up houses and little figurines here. There's a whole table of them. These are neat. gotta have the Santa hat if it's a Christmas shop. And they've even got Santa hats with some sort of animal print. There's a whole section here of candles. These are neat. They've got 
handmade. Mm -hmm. We make them right back here, just working on some. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Go check him out. He's making some candles here. Are these setting up? Yeah, these are all uh, all ones that were done yesterday. Okay. I'm not waiting on wax to melt. Sure. To get started. Very cool. Is that your wax melter back there? Yep. Use that one for the rake for these candles, and then that's the gel tank. Very cool. Yeah. These candles are cool. They have stuff inside of the gel the shapes of things like this one's granny smith apple scent and it looks like there's apple slices in it more candles on the back wall. Different kind of wax. Coming out of the candle shop, the next building is the Apple Barn Winery. It says, wine made on site, see us bottle. Let's go check it out. They've got a wagon in the back of the store here with different display holders for your wine bottles. Little tasting section. Different wines, glasses. And we are in the Smoky Mountains, so of course there are bears. Don't wake the bear. And more bears. And even more bears. Okay. Raspberry. She gave us a card here. We went to this. She said if we go here and one more, then we will get these stamped and we can get a free wine glass. The next thing that we found was the Apple Valley Creamery. It's here, it's the next building. It says that they have handmade ice cream and freshly baked bread. Let's go check it out. Here's the board with all the flavors. And here is the cases of all the ice creams. Behind the center of the ice cream counter. They've got much more than just ice cream. They've got lemonade, other desserts, apple cobbler, smoothies, and frappes. They even sell cookies.
cookie mixes here at the bakery. And of course, they've got baked goods, apple walnut bread, muffins. Just cutting a fresh batch of brownies. bunch more pans here in the back. Our uh, homemade brownies here, we make from scratch. Uh, we get uh, 40 brownies per, per tray. So, so we double stack them. We put one layer of brownies and then we put fudge and then another layer. So that's why we call them the double fudge brownie. And uh, we'll be making about uh, 320 of them today. Oh, wow. So, yeah. They look awesome. You said 40 per tray? 40 per tray. And how many trays are you making today? Uh, we'll be making, let's see, it'll be uh, a total of 16. 16 oh, wow. Trays. A lot of brownies. Trays, yep. They smell amazing. Thank you. They Thank just you. came out of the oven there? Yes. Yep. We let them cool down a little bit. Let them cool down and then. Uh, and she'll cut them, and then we individually bag them, and then we put them out for sale out front, and then we also sell them to the Apple Barn. So. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. They're going to give us a free sample of the ice cream. I'm going to try the Smoky Mountain Fudge. There you go. Would you like to try too? Thank you so much. You're welcome. You want to try? Sure. Mmm. Mmm, that's creamy. Mmm. Very good. Same flavor? Yeah. Okay. You like it? Mm. You're not a big chocolate ice cream guy. I'm not either, but I love that sweet That is delicious. Yeah, four different flavors. We're out of the rest of mine because we have to make some more. But we have deep dish apple pie, caramel apple, and apple cinnamon. We're at the apple barn, so we have to try the apple flavored ice cream deep dish apple pie. It sounds amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Very good. Good. Caramel apple. And you can just okay. throw your sample spoons in there if you like. Okay, thank you. You're Caramel apple. Mmm. Very good. Yeah. The apple throwing you off. This one's good. This one's really good too. Right now. That's the apple cinnamon. Apple cinnamon. Okay. Apple cinnamon. Mmm. Also very good. Get the apple ice cream at the apple barn. Just bagging up the brownies individually. And they are massive. else is hard at work in the back getting things ready preparing ingredients this gentleman is peeling bananas probably some sort of banana bread activity he's got some home baked bread here what kind is this that's the blackberry cobbler bread blackberry cobbler bread that's one of our most popular
Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I hope you enjoy. I'm excited to try this blackberry cobbler bread. Mmm. 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 That's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's fantastic. I'm glad you liked it. Next, we're at the Candy Apple and Chocolate Factory. Let's go see what this is about. galore she's in the back on the machine that's got the melted chocolate in this window they're packaging up things and boxing them to put out Thing. I see caramel apples and pralines. And she's scooping out the filling there. We have peanut, pecan, and cashew brittle. different assortments of chocolates all kinds of fudge peanut butter fudge that's my favorite right here assortment packs on the bottom you can try all the different flavors here's the other end of the machine she's pulling them out And packaging them. Very cool. They were coming out really fast there for a second. It was almost like an I Love Lucy episode. In the case here, they've got all kinds of chocolate treats. What's your favorite in the store? It would be hard to say. So many good things. Yes. Got candy fruit slices. Pecan log. White chocolate. And chocolate covered pretzels. This cabinet has all the clusters in it. And that's what she was making in there. We've got some giant containers of rock candy. Almost looks like Breaking Bad. Everything in this cabinet is sugar free. Look at all these chocolates they offer. Got some old timey candy here, some root beer barrels, cinnamon, ginger, watermelon, clove. Rice Krispies here in different shapes on sticks. There's a Spider Man. There's a bear because we're in the Smoky Mountains. And they have unicorns. Here's a tractor and cows. 
Very cool. Outside of the candy shop, they have restrooms, a little area to picnic and eat in. And we are right next door to the hard cider house. Let's check it out. Hello. Hi, Kevin. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing well. So, our taste is fairly simple. You can either try the whole list for $10, and that comes with a free mug as well, or you do three for free. We start you with our stout, which is the base for all of our ciders, or you can, or you can do choose two. Like Sorry, I got my words mixed up. So you can do one stout, so pick your two, or we do the whole list down the line. Sure thing, sir. The first one you're getting is the stout. So like I said, it's the base for all of our ciders. Light and crisp, a little bit bitey. It's a good cider to have on like a nice afternoon or springtime, wash the chicken with the cows or whatever the video we said. That's my picture of my brain. <laughs> okay. It's light and refreshing. Very good. Yeah, it's like easy to drink. It tastes like apple juice and carbonation. It is. It makes it dangerous. <laughs> Very good. This is the mint to be vanilla. Ooh, they're part of it. You have these from 440. Nice vanilla on the back. Yeah. All right. It's like some good ice cream. It'll be great. Check it out. Very good. It is. Very good. Red lemon head. Number one seller. It's going to taste just like a strawberry lemonade with a hint of apple in the back. You just decided to have a nice like summertime day, pool party kind of deal. Cooking out. Definitely okay. summer. Looks good. Let's taste it. Delicious. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. Our number one seller for a hot day. Very good. <laughs> He's making me one now called the Hot Ruby. Hot Ruby. So we take a whole bottle of the Hot Ruby. You take a whole bottle of the Stout. Easy to do. Pour it in a crock pot. Let it cook on low for an hour. Just don't get high on the cook alcohol out. Start in the morning. Be good by afternoon. It smells amazing. It smells careful, like the holidays. Liquid apple pie. Mmm, that smells so good. Mmm. Very good. Very good. It'd be great on a snowy day. Oh, yeah. Feel a little warm out Guys, y'all be safe and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. What's your. Coming outside of the cider house, they have the apple butter kitchen. You can look through the window here and see they've got some apple butter that they're making and jar lids, so they're canning it as well. They're cooking the apple butter in there. You can see the vat steaming. In this window, they've got donuts. It looks like fried pies. Let's walk over. Here's a whole pan of fresh fried pies. In there, they've got the ingredients, the dough. It looks like the apple filling. The big area in the back of the kitchen. These look delicious. Back here is the Applewood 
farmhouse restaurant. This is the original restaurant here. And it was an old farmhouse that they turned into a restaurant. They are closed today. Unfortunately, we went to the other restaurant earlier for breakfast. They rotate days. Usually if one's open, the other might be closed and vice versa. But we're going to walk over here and check it out. Nice gazebos here. Looks across the road to the water. Very nice. showing that the candy factory is back that way and this is the front of the Applewood farmhouse restaurant it says sorry we are closed this time of year they are closed Wednesdays and Thursdays but the other restaurant is open and it was very delicious check it out here is the barn at Apple Barn I think there's a restaurant inside of it or it may be where they have the fried pies and donuts but it's a very nice building we'll walk around to the front here and give it a look You can see where it's painted up on the top. The Apple Barn and Cider Mill. Thank you, Apple Barn, for a great visit. Everyone was very friendly and nice, and they've got lots of great apple based products here. Highly recommend a visit. No, thank you.